Okay, we got another huge bout ready to rock and roll here at Muay Thai Grand Prix. It is Adam Parry still with you. Got Pinky Donald joining me back on the call once again, mate. Now, you were uh, wising me up uh, about Max McVicker before we uh, went back live. What can you tell us about this youngster? He's 19 and been training for uh, what is it, 15, 15 years. years. Yeah, so That's insane. Yeah, so he started with his dad, um, originally from England, where they have a massive amateur scene. So he racked up a lot of amateur fights in England. A very talented kid, good IQ, Southpaw style. Um, but yeah, literally trained his whole life since he could walk. So it's quite 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 impressive. Yeah, not, not too indifferent to a tie. Oh yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I thought it was a typo on my notes that he'd been training for 15 years at the age of 19. Uh, so fighting out of the blue corner, of course, is Max McVicker. We have Zimpiak in uh, the red corner, training out of uh, PTJ Muay Thai out of New South Wales. Yep. And wowee, <laughs> what a record, 135 fights. And he is the real deal, like Channel 7 Stadium Champion in Thailand, which is probably arguably the hardest one to, to have, um, the hardest title to win. It's, yeah, he's legit. No doubt about that. Been in Australia a while now. Had, had a fair few fights over here and always putting on a great show. Very technical, technical style. Hence on the, uh, he's listed his favourite fighters as Samat and Somrak. Very technical style fighters. Well, we've been, uh, we've been treated a lot to some great bouts here this evening so far and I'm expecting nonetheless for this one as we get to the uh, deeper end of this card. Two men with a hell of a lot of experience. Beautiful run, Moy. From Max. I know both these guys quite personally, actually. Um, my wife actually have, has a picture of Singh Piyak up in our, in our, in our dining room. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> nice. Came to visit once in Adelaide. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Got a feeling my wife might have a bit of a crush on him. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame her. Of course, I'm sure she's watching at live at combatsports.com.au. No doubt. Beautiful run Moy from Max. It's the one bit of, of Muay Thai that I missed the most, performing the run Moy. It's a uh, sacred tradition, no doubt. And uh, great respect from all the audience as well, they approve, definitely. Fighters going to their corners for the final word. Yep, final blessing and Monkon mon removal. Monkon there for uh, traditional headpiece for protection, usually blessed by a monk. Um, yeah, traditionally made out of cloth from um, a family member before they went to war. They'd wear it and they'd do their little traditional dance before they fought, well, fought in the war and then they'd wear it, hang it around their neck facing the opposite direction. Some amazing traditions involved in the sport of Muay Thai. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah, these, uh, the crowd is feeling it too. So we're underway. First of five rounds. Yeah, watch that left leg of Max. Watch the IQ of Singh. Whoa. Heavy rear kicks off of both the boys. Kick up to the arm there in Muay Thai, kicking the arm scores. It's, it's not like in kickboxing where, it, where a kick in the arms is a block. Oh, it okay. scores and it can do damage also to the arms. Ooh, nice work there by Max. Yeah, catch and, catch and sweep. Kicking that arm so he can take the punching power out of it. Trades of smiles. Yeah, both, both competitors are just so at ease, so calm in their demeanor, yet so explosive with their offense. Yeah. Including the including the amateur record of Max is probably about 250 fights worth in the ring right now. 
Wow. Between the two of them. So young, it's so seasoned. Yeah, for sure. It's great to see. Both really nice guys as well and, and, and have nothing but respect for the sport, so always makes for a more classy, entertaining fight, I believe. I guess people that have uh, been around it so long and so much, that it, you'd expect nonetheless. And the traditional slower start, heavy shots but not big work rate, teeth of the face and kicking off of his lead leg. Simpak now. Both boys showing really nice offense but also solid defense. Slick in the clinch there from Max, taking Singh down. That was very smooth. Simpak seems a bit more keen to clinch it up and get a bit closer after wearing that kick to the face. Yeah. Still feeling it out. Nice catch. Oh, oh, nice counters there from Max. Beautiful kick. Such sharp leg kicks from both. Trying the old um, super bank sweep. Oh, whoa. Big heavy shots being thrown in this first round. How's the legs by Simpia to be able to stay standing whilst... Oh, just... Very balanced, very stable. Yeah. Impressive work from both fighters. Very IQ style fight, which makes for a chess match more than a fight. Love watching this style. Beautiful offense and defense from both the boys. It's amazing to watch. It sure is. It's very captivating. It's, whoa! Solid straight right to finish that round. And we're going to throw to a commercial from our sponsor. We chose Total Fit Outs because it had a great reputation, um, because the team were super easy to communicate with, and because we felt as though that we could trust them with the job. Total Fit Outs performed incredibly well. The guys were just really personable, felt like we were working together, which was great. The two must-haves for us opening a studio is to ensure that we've got beautiful timber finish and updated branding um, across the walls. Would 100% recommend Total Fit Outs. Um, they were just really great to work with and um, continue to be really great to work with. We do love our new space, yeah, we, um, we love it, our clients love it, um, the community loves it, it's, it's doing really well for us. So that was the first round here in this bout. We've got five of them, so four still to go in this a welterweight matchup between Max McVicker out of the blue corner and Simpayak out of the red corner. And Pinky, mate. Very solid first round. Very impressive. Throwing very solid, solid singles. No real combination work, which is always nicer to watch. Solid single kicks, solid single punches. Both, both landing solid shots, but also very nice defense from both of them. I love a good South Southpaw versus Orthodox fight. And I'm assuming with the experience amongst both competitors, the conditioning of both of these guys will be off the chart. We're, Absolutely. We're not going to see anyone get gassed. No. <laughs> We're on. Ooh. Slick, slick start from Max, slick start for round two. You can see the reddening of the rib cage on Max from those rear kicks from Singh. Oh yeah, I see it now. Ooh. Whipping kicks from McVicker. Yeah, playing the counter game on a ties, quite impressive. Whoa. Lots of leg kicks there from Max. It's about four or five of them. Sings now into his more favoured start of Southpaw. Here we go, Simpiak now, locking him up. Very strong, that place, placing the hand in Max's face to open him up. Blocks Max's vision, allows him to knee up the centre. And Simpiak walks in for an elbow on, on Max. 
Singh is actually turning it up a lot more this round. Throwing yeah. the elbows, hoping to cut Max early. Yeah, he's definitely trying to get in a lot closer. At least it would seem as much. He's got him in the clinch there. Oh, there you go. Lands with an elbow. Yeah, very, very close there. See, he's got that pain across the face again. Max is struggling to see where he's got a knee. Very strong, very strong in the clinch is, is Singh Piak. Here we go, Max. Are we going to see some claret in this fight? Nice body kicks from Max. Beautiful teep. Singh stalking him. Oh, there you go. Solid, Solid right hand, hand there from Singh Piak. Yeah. This rapid fire kicks by Max McVicker. Very nice, very nice. Oh. Trying to bang up that, that fire. Oh, that's a good way to go about you, it yeah. without a doubt. If you, if you can't walk, you can't fight, right? Well, we saw that in the last bout. Yes. Ooh. Beautiful swing back from Max. Flying with a kick. Hey, Max in a better spot in the clinch this time. In a yeah. lot closer. Controlling position. Simpiak now turns him around to the ropes. Yeah, Singh, Singh is owning that clinch a bit though. Very, very slick there. For Max to exit the, exit the clinch. Almost executes the takedown. Once again, Singh stalking. Ooh. Max. Max. Max is sweeping that leg out from underneath him. Yeah, Max is. On, on tonight, that's, that's 100%. Oh, okay, wrapping up around number two there, all thanks to Total Fit Outs. Look them up. Definitely, um, yeah, definitely Max's um, biggest fight to date, I'd say. Probably his the most legit opponent. He's fought, not that he hasn't fought lots of legit opponents, but it's a, definitely a big step. And he's, he was talking to me earlier in the week saying how he wants to, you know, cement his place in his weight division in Australia right now. And this, this could be the one that does it. Well, the, fa that, yeah. the fact he's only 19 years old as well. It's crazy, isn't it? It's that? incredible. Soon you have no opponents left. <laughs> After those playing at home, Simpiak is at the age of 30. Um, their height's very similar. There's a, there's a centimetre between them going the way of Max, so... Uh, not too great a height difference between the two no, of them. No, body-wise, they're both very evenly matched. Yeah, in my notes it also says that Max McVicker's favourite weapon is the left kick, and I tell you what, that last round, yeah, we saw that left kick in action. <laughs> yeah, they're both, they're both very slick, they're very, very tidy to watch, so it, it makes it for very pleasant Muay Thai. For something so violent, it makes it quite nice to watch. Yeah, very beautiful technique from both fighters, and I think, like like we said earlier on, or like you said as well, with the fact that they're as experienced as they both have, and, and to have been raised by the sport and, and been through as much as they had, I, I guess it's the, it's the only way to do it, right? Yeah, for sure. And all the uh, viewers here in attendance at Curtin Stadium, they are loving it, as I'm sure you are at home at livecombatsports.com.au. Muay Thai Grand Prix bringing the goods. We're about to jump into round number three of five. Both competitors look very calm. Yeah, it looks like they'll probably, they'll probably step it up this round though. Third round, I'll start kicking off a little bit more, I believe. They're breathing easy though, like we said about the conditioning. Max is on the back foot again. Both men have the same idea there to kick things off. Block and counter, very nice from Max. Right hook and right and left kick. Max's counter game is on point. Playing the game like a tie. Beautiful tee. Ooh, big jumping knee strike there by Simpiak. Yeah, wanting to get into that clinch. Feels more comfortable in there. Once again, the hand across the face to block Max's vision. And then kneeing up the centre. Is that quite a common technique? I haven't seen many people do that tonight. It's it's definitely a more advanced sort of clinching technique, something that should get used a lot more, but you generally only see the tyres doing it. Thank you 
that pinky right now. Both men, ooh, big solid right hand to the belly from, from Singh. Followed by a left hook that time. Singh starting to land some heavier shots now. Oh, ooh, big, big kick there by Simpiak. Max gave him a smile and improvement. Yeah, absolutely. It is something else. I love Have, it. Having a good time. Singh's really laying into that body. That's that's gonna it's gonna see how Max's um conditioning is. Really tied up in the ropes there. Separation by the referee, but time for him to go back at it. Heavy shots. Yeah. Ooh, big knees, changes of knee. Once again, that hands across the face of Max. And I'm guessing this uh, hand across the face technique lends itself to slide in an elbow as well, Swallows. So you're right. It yeah. does, yeah. They can't see it coming. You'd have to get your, you'd have to get that hand that's pushing the face out the way to drop the elbow in. A solid way to transition, nonetheless. This is so nice to watch. Yeah, these guys are putting on a clinic. If you're at home watching, um, this is what Muay Thai should look like. Get in front of the mirror and make yourself look like this, guys. Whoa. Big jumping, charging knee strike by Simpiak. Yeah, very. Ooh. Oh, fighting while they're both hanging through the ropes. That was nice. <laughs> and neither man wanted to wanted to back down a millimeter. Perfectly timed teep there from Simpiak. Looping right hook, which missed from Max. A big right hand from Simpiak there. Slapping knees as well, they're making a lot of noise. Yeah. Right in front of the commentary position here. What a view. Wraps up round number three, all thanks to Total Fit Outs. Look them up, totalfitouts.com.au. They are Perth based. They're a commercial fit out specialist. And of course, they offer a concept to completion fit out service across offices, display suites, retail, healthcare fitness and hospitality industries. Once again, look them up, totalfitouts.com.au. Yeah, you weren't wrong about the uh, in intensity of these two kicking up. Yeah, the, the fourth round is know, known as the championship round in Muay Thai, where it's normally hell for leather. In the Thai stadiums there, they usually only really fight for one round, which is the fourth. Oh, Everything, wow. Everything's a lead up to the fourth, and then as soon as they've decided who's won at the end of the fourth, they generally check out, so. Wow, okay. Yeah. Obviously, it's a little bit different in Australia where they lock away each round individually. In um, Thailand, it's a rolling scoring system which continues over the whole fight, not just locking away each round. In, in Australia or the rest of the world, it's a 10, each round is signed off with the, the winner getting 10 points, and then 9 points for the loser of the round, and then the 8 count, another point off, which makes it 10 8, and then so forth. Thank you for the insight. That's interesting stuff. So it just keeps rolling in the uh, in, in, the, in the Thai stadiums. Yeah, it continues, and you can you can have one good round and win the whole fight. Whereas in Australia, you have to have three good rounds out of five to win the fight. Okay. Daniel Dawson dropping the bottle of water in the corner. Round number four. Here we go. Let's see if they go hell for leather. <laughs> we are on. Starting with a nice tape from Max. Max flicking that front leg. Singh countering with a rear hand. Singh back into orthodox stance. Whoa, big Beautiful. swing kick there. Yeah, big swing back from Mac. Oh, another one. Yeah. Simpiak's movements Simpiak's to uh, dodge those oh, ones. Ama just... Amazing IQ. Beautiful. He's known as an IQ fighter. So if, 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 you, if you're missing with those high kicks, you're going to drop them a little bit lower. So if they try and swing back, you hit them around, you aim for about hip height. Or like Max just did, kick down to the leg. Max's counter game's quite nice. 
Ooh, I wouldn't want to be getting kicked by Sing Piak though. Not at all. Sing Piak went charging in. That's when it's you uh, hop around while still kicking. Max just flicking away at that front leg. There's a bit of a hematoma on um, Sing Piak's front leg. See a bit of bruising where the foot's wrapping around the back of his leg and it's getting a bit welted on the outside of the thigh. Ah, yes. And we've seen so many quality kicks from Max McVicker in this one so far, it's uh, not surprising. Big, loud kick there by Cynthia. Now, both both boys still still quite a quite a technically slow work rate, but it's, it's power power over quantity, which is what real Muay Thai is about. Work rate isn't a thing, <laughs> isn't a style, I should say. No one home on that kick there by Max. Singpiak, I thought he was going to try and clinch again. Big rear kick off Singpiak there. Whoa, oh, high kick. Huge high kick there. Landed it nicely. That rear, hand from, that rear hand from Sing is landing a lot. They're landing it cleanly every time. 10 seconds to go in this fourth round and the lads know it. And there we go. Right, round number four brought to you by Total Fit Outs. Look them up, totalfitouts.com.au. What did you make of the uh, fourth quarter? It's, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely close. Um, Max seems, seems to be Hiring a little bit, um, he's, he's going back with he's not quite replying with with much gusto that he was in earlier on the fight. Um, but maybe he's he knows he's he's won a couple of the earlier rounds or something, and he wants to save it for the fifth round to, to go hard. Um, we'll soon see. Um, Singpiak landing some clean heavy shots. Uh, probably that round was a lot heavier shots from Singpiak. Well, they got one more round to go. The fifth and. Final round is upon us. Three minutes left in this matchup. It's going to be very interesting to see what these guys bring out. They've been in tremendous form so far in this one. Daniel Dawson's hanging his head there through the ropes. The legendary Daniel Dawson hanging his head through the ropes, giving some instructions. Well, Chris, uh, Chris Watt is painting his face with Vaseline. Guessing they're expecting some elbows this round, or maybe some more of that rear hand. Yeah, we saw a lot of the rear hand in uh, round number four. Yeah, Cynthia looks like he's had a shower for the, for the final round. <laughs> Crowd's having a good time, as they should. They sure are. It's been a hell of a card here tonight at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Starting with a rear kick from Max. Once again, hitting with that leg. Those kicks from Max have been non-stop all about. Yeah, in this fifth round, he's got a block. He's got a counter off that block. Got a feeling, that, got a feeling that shin may be a bit sore. That rear shin might be sore on Max. Oh, he's caught. Not enough to get him to hit the mat, though. Nice and strong in the clinch, got to work, there we go. Both exchanging knees. Yeah, both very comfortable there. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Made, up, made up for that loss of balance. That loss of balance out of the clinch is a, is a big winner in Thailand. 
catch. Warren the right hand. Egg kicks back. Ooh. Right the side of the face there. Um, looks like Max doesn't have his mouth guard in. Whoa. I have done that with my fighter before. End up knocking the guy out in that round with no mouth guard in. <laughs> At least they rectified it as soon as possible. It used to be a thing in Thailand where you could actually take your mouth guard out during a fight if you wanted to. They don't allow it anymore, but when you couldn't breathe properly, you take the mouth guard out and get on with life. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You've got to work in the clinch there, Max. Solid defense there from Max in the clinch. Kick right on the back there, that'll be a stinger. Oh, solid body kick there from Max. Speaking of stinging. There we go. Oh, changing heights in the kicks, which is really smart. Oh, Grand there's elbow. an elbow. Replying with a kick on the way out. Beautiful block there from Max. across the arm. They certainly haven't lost any power over all the uh, five rounds. Oh, solid shot right there to the face. Oh, Cynthia's got massive rear leg on him. He's got some nice hematomas on his shin as well from kicking yeah. those arms and shins. It's going to be bruised up, that's for sure. And just like traditional tie style, you get to the fifth round and it looks like Singh decides that he's had enough. <laughs> uh, Max, is, Max is working it through. Final 30 seconds. Yeah, he's not going to leave him be. Uh, he's got to throw. He's got to work. We're not in Thailand right now. You've got to work through to the end of the fight. Ooh. Nice and aggressive elbow from, from Max. So he's blocked him off in the clinch. Good save there from Max. Oh, beautiful work from both those boys at the exit of that clinch. Oh, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Oh, oh yes. Oh, this is Muay Thai. What a fight. Wow. Superb stuff there. Wrapping up your fifth and final round. All thanks to Total Fit Outs. Look them up. Totalfitouts.com.au That was fantastic. So Simpayak out of the red corner gets the victory in this just tremendous bout. Absolutely, absolutely stunning to watch. Max can take so much away from that fight and be so proud of himself. Huge, huge step up in class. 
um, and, and fought amazingly. And it was a majority, it wasn't, wasn't unanimous. It, it was so one of the judges gave it to him, as, as they should have. Great work by both fighters here at Muay Thai Grand Prix.